If you're an endurance athlete, uh, you really want to look at uh, measurements around oxygen carrying capabilities. Uh, and that endurance athlete being a cyclist, a triathlete, or a runner, as the as the the, the first measurements uh, you want to get on an athlete um, in those sports. VO2 max and lactate threshold are the two tests to conduct. One VO2 max uh, is the maximum amount of oxygen you're consuming at the maximum intensity or workload you're putting out. And the more oxygen you consume the greater work or, or, or intensity you can produce. So that's what VO2 max is. And those who have a, a greater VO2 max or what we call aerobic engine tend to do, uh, tend to do better in endurance events because they're able to utilize a lot more oxygen so they can ride faster, run faster, you know, swim better, things like that. Lactate threshold is a, another test and it measures the intensity that an athlete is, is producing either in terms of watts or, or running pace uh, um, right at the point that you cross over from using your aerobic system to using your anaerobic energy system. And what you want to do is, is be able to uh, stay below this threshold so you're basically staying in, a, in an aerobic state the majority of the, the time that you're you're, you're racing and, and if you can imagine you know if you've got a series of hills throughout the course of a stage and if Lance is very well trained and his power at lactate threshold is very high when he comes to the climbs as opposed to his opponents um, he's gonna be you know staying below this threshold staying aerobic burning two types of fuel fat and carbohydrate and still being able to clear the lactic acid that's building up as that as his opponents hit these climbs and they start climbing after about 10 minutes, they're gonna get above their lactate threshold. That lactate is gonna start to accumulate. It's not gonna burn, it's not gonna clear, it's gonna start accumulating. And they'll be able to tolerate it and deal with it maybe for the first climb, the second climb, but come the third climb, it's gonna be eventually a limiting factor for success for these guys that have gone above threshold early on on the climbs whereas Lance has been below threshold now when they get to this final climb to the finish you know the guys that have been above threshold trying to stay with Lance and Lance has been below threshold now he can accelerate and he has all the means and has all the carbohydrate stores to maximize his energy returns on a, on a summit finish.